Go around as well so you get in the other end of the street like you did before. Go around, please. Oh, you twat. Right, go on, stop. Uh, no, keep filming. So, I wait today, the football world, come round again, come round. I wait today, the football world was devastated. Thank you, darling, thank you very much. I wait today, the football world was devastated with the sad tiding news about the king that was Maradona. Mitten da king. Mitten da. Come on, lad, nice to see you, lad, nice to see you. That is the geezer that give me mitten da. That is the king that give me the Cornish words. On my walk one day, he written it out for me. So there you go, Alfonso, so you don't forget. Morning, Queen. So, going back to the ball. I've been saying, go around again, please. I've been saying, D, A, go. Born with a ball, as in, when he was born, he may as well have been born with a ball right out of his mother's existence because they will never be, we're lucky, we're fortunate, we're fortunate or lucky. If there's ever going to be, get the road please, Lyndon. I want you to get the road. Can you get the road so like it's going flush on? I'm only asking. That's right, that's the one, thank you. Me and the road, mate, that's right. So, if we get another football star, as powerful as that man. Not just he came from the Fafellas. If you don't know what the Fafellas are out there, the Fafellas are famous for like the ghetto. Fafellas. Thank you, King. For like the, the um, in the Caribbean, it's yard. It's um, the ghetto as in America. So Mar Maradona came, like a lot of footballers, came from, get the Queen in, yeah, get the Queen in. Maradona came from what we would call poverty to superstardom, beyond superstardom. Unfortunately for his family, obviously him, he became a dabbler of cocaine. Cocaine, as we know, is cocaine. So that was one of his, if not one of the biggest downfalls of his, of his career. Hey, Queen. I hope you don't mind me filming you. Yes, yeah, give your hand, come on, I'm not going to get that crazy. Because I'm, uh, I, have a, I have a YouTube channel, hello Baba, I have a YouTube channel and stuff that I send things to, and you know about Maradona, don't you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You would have you would have grown up with him like we did. Yeah. Yeah, crazy, isn't it? Well, you're quite young, weren't you? He was 60. 60. Well, I, I'm, that's my birthday at the end of January, so yeah. we're around about the same age. Mind you, he didn't look very healthy. No, 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 he was didn't not just put on weight, he'd, uh, yeah. he was suffered with drink and also oh. the... Um, the drug addiction that he was involved oh, in. Right. Yeah. Right. It's a tragic shame. Sad, not though, isn't it? Extremely sad, actually, yeah. but we have to take the good. A lot of English people will never forgive him for the hand of God. <laughs> <laughs> Which is I'm gonna make a point of. So I'm just doing a bit of what I was um because when I came to Cornwall I was a ex semi professional football in a sense and then thought I'd retired and lo and behold I played some of my best football in Cornwall. They had an area in Cornwall, like St. Otto, St. Ives, Pen, Penryn, Camborne, every area that had a football team, I played against and beat them. Especially Falmouth Town, semi-professional professionals, uh, Penryn, semi-professional professionals, Choro, semi-professional professionals, played them all and beat them all. So, this is why I'm doing it. Oh, you do. Bye. Bye, darling. Thanks for stopping. Yay. So. Hold on, there's a student coming through. Sorry. You're good, you're good. You've got good skills. Well, I used to have when I was. You join in if you want. No, no, I'm not good. <laughs>
Yay, got it. So, there's the trick. Ah. There's the trick. <laughs>